Our 10 on your side investigation into the commercial fishing company Omega Protein got a lot of you talking on Facebook. The Manhattan Processing Plant is a huge employer in the small town of Reedville in Northumberland County. The company gets praise from the locals and criticism from those who say Omega's business hurts their business. Investigative reporter Chris Horn continues his investigation into the controversial catch with a look inside that plant. Yeah, yes. Nicole and Tom, a lot of people are quick to mention, especially Omega's critics, that it's headquartered in Texas. Well, it is. There are a relatively few people who work there, but the operational headquarters are right up the bay in Reedville. It's been hauling Menhaden from the bay back to Reedville for processing since the 1870s. Entire local families have worked and thrived there. It's so intertwined in this community, it's, it's very hard to even describe how much it is. It's really what built the town. Plant manager Andy Hull talking about Reedville and Menhaden fishing. His company, Omega Protein, hauls in the oily, bony, yet valuable fish by the millions. We toured the plant where eight company boats bring in Menhaden that will become fish meal and fish oil, including nutritional supplements and food additives. My father worked here 44 years. My grandfather was here. I've got two brothers here and a son. You hear a lot of those stories around here. People who've been around long enough to see the process grow and change, but realize that catching the fish has remained pretty much the same. My father, he was a waterman. My uncle was a waterman. Brother was a waterman. So we just generated a waterman family. James Gordon helps to keep the plant running, and five of his six children, including his youngest son Roy, work here too. With about 250 folks on the payroll, Omega is Reedsville's largest employer and third largest in Northumberland County. I hope to be here until I'm gone. <laughs> That's right. When Gordon started in the business about 50 years ago, the Atlantic Coast had about a dozen Menhaden reduction plants like this one. Back then, commercial Menhaden fishing was four times greater than it is now. Omega in Reedsville is the sole survivor. Scientists say commercial fishing does affect the Menhaden population, but so do water quality, water temperature, and algae blooms. Right now, if the water is cooled and they move out. Charter boat captain Chris Newsom says it's Omega's large hauls that are hurting his business. The people that work for Omega are, are, are good people. I know several of them. I have family members who have worked for Omega in the past. The issue becomes when you're, you are conducting a business that impacts other businesses, other livelihoods. And we won't see any of Omega's boats on the bay for six months. The company met its annual quota last week. In the meantime, the boats will travel to Norfolk for maintenance and refurbishing. The controversy will likely go full throttle again in May when Omega is back out there fishing for Menhaden. Chris Horn, 10 on your side.